An invasive tick species known as the longhorn tick has made its home in at least 21 states, including the Carolinas, over the last few years. And for the first time, scientists have found an emerging strain of bacteria in the invasive tick. NBC News medical contributor uh, Dr. John Torres shows us how the bacteria can cause a potentially fatal tick-borne infection. I open one of them. Every morning, Godars Malai opens dozens of envelopes containing ticks mailed by bite victims. Malai is an entomologist on the lookout for longhorn ticks, an invasive species that, unlike other ticks, can reproduce itself through cloning. The tick is present in at least 21 states and is rapidly spreading across the eastern U.S. Here is a female longhorn tick. As you can see, the body is reddish. Around. Scientists in Molai's lab at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station have identified an emerging bacteria in the longhorn tick for the first time. The pathogen can lead to ehrlichiosis, a tick-borne disease that causes symptoms such as fever, severe headaches, rash, and potentially death. Climate change, which is creating warmer and wetter conditions around the globe, is influencing how longhorn ticks transmit ehrlichiosis. Because of climate change, we are having shorter winter month and as a result this tick doesn't need to do that much dormancy it is active all almost all year round except for a few months so that means you're more likely to get bit if you're bit it's more likely to feed and if it feeds it's more likely to reproduce correct nationwide ehrlichiosis cases have increased 15 fold since 2001 jennifer platt a public health expert studying tick-borne diseases contracted ehrlichiosis in 2011. I felt like death. I felt horrible, like severe weakness, malaise, no energy. So how can you protect yourself? Stay out of wooded or grassy areas, use tick repellent, and practice regular tick checks after outdoor activities.